911, where's your emergency? 814 Apple Lane. Sorry, and your phone number? 867-5309. And your name? Holly Carr. And what's your emergency? It's my boyfriend. He's really agitated and he said he just wants to end it all. He took all his pills and went into the bathroom and locked himself inside for a few minutes. Now he's acting more bizarre and agitated and I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, Holly, I understand your concern, and I want you to know I'm sending a police officer and a paramedic who have special training in handling crisis calls. Okay, thank you. Hey, Rack, it's Officer Hamilton. How you doing today, man? Hamilton, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. All right, Rick, I'm Officer Park. I'm with Ferguson Township Police. I'm a CIT officer. Tell me what's going on today. Everything. Everything's going on today. All right, I can tell that you're upset. So what, what happened with the medications here? Did you take any? I took a couple. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to take a couple. Okay, what is it? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, Zoloft. Okay, how many did you take? I don't know. I don't know, a few. I took a few. Rick, I can see that you're upset and you're, you know, you have a lot going on in, right now in your life. You know, we're here to help you and uh, we're here to get, get you to the right, get you services with the right people. Okay. So, so what happened today that uh, you're feeling this way? Everything, everything just came to came to a crash today. Uh, he's fucking killing me. I just, I just, you know, I can't keep a job. I can't find a job. You know, I'm not there for for Holly. I'm not there for Holly at all. I'm not the man she needs me to be. Just everything's just falling apart, and everything's just coming crashing down all at once. All right, I can see you're upset. A lot of people out here that can help you. We have. Uh, you know, the hospital, we have Can Help, and they can help you with uh, what else is going on. Can Help, what's Can Help? Can Help does mobile crisis. They'll, uh, they'll respond out to, they can respond out here to the house or they can respond up to the hospital. I think the best best idea today is to get you up to the hospital. If you're taking a few too many Zoloft today, we need to get you medically cleared first and then they'll, they'll come up to the hospital and they'll sit down and talk to you and they'll help you with, uh, with everything that you need. Center Cannon Can Help, this is Shannon. How can I help you? Hi, Officer Park. Okay, so we're coming out to see the girlfriend. All right, and what's going on? Once that phone call is made uh, to uh, Can Help, uh, we don't delay on the dispatch. We immediately get the counselor uh, moving to go to the intervention, to go to the scene, and provide the services that are needed. Holly, this is Amy from Can Help. She's from Can Help Crisis. She came here today to help you maybe get figure out some counseling and get some services for you. Hi, Holly. It's nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet you. Is there somewhere quiet we could go and talk? Yeah, we could go inside. Okay, thank you. With CIT, the concept is to go in and ask more questions. You know, if a person's acting strange, were they having hallucinations? Were they just depressed and crying? So the, the concept of CIT is to take a little bit more time, if needed, ask some questions differently, approach the individual calmly, interact with them, ask them do they have support, do they have family, do they have a therapist, you know, do they want to see somebody who could help them. And it really allows the individual to feel connected to those uh, there with them to ask for help and it guides them in a direction of treatment. You worried about everything going on with your job and your health and as I said, you know, we go up to the hospital, get you looked at, get your knee looked at and get your medications figured out and you know, can't help, can help you with, uh, you know, with the different things that you need outside of just your health, you know, and help you work through these things. By providing this training, we not only are able to um, seek the assistance of law enforcement to identify individuals in the community uh, who have a mental health diagnosis, but it allows us to um, then get them into the services and the supports that are needed. The skills that we've learned in the CIT program are applicable in, in every single aspect of every call that we use, uh, be it we're dealing with a, a patient that's having chest pain that's feeling very anxious about what's happening to them. Uh, if we res respond to a cardiac arrest and we've got a distraught family member, uh, we can use some of the skills to try to talk them down and calm them down while we're still managing taking care of the patient. Rick, why don't you come here and have a seat right here for me, sir? If you don't mind me bringing your feet up here to your right. Okay. There you go, nice and easy. Okay. How is that? 
It's okay. It's all right. We're going to put right. some seat belts on you here. You got to put seat belts on? Yeah, unfortunately we do. It's just a safety thing <clears throat> since we're going to be in a moving vehicle. Is this really necessary? Yeah, it is. The state kind of requires us to have seat belts, but it's okay. They'll be nice. They'll be just snug enough to keep you safe. In the EMS aspect, we'll use our CIT skills a lot on the, the depressed patient who might be feeling suicidal and they might, they might be feeling that way but not necessarily have a plan yet or might have not taken actions, but they still need to receive some help. The idea behind CIT is you can use it at any point. We have officers who've used it during a car accident and the people don't have a mental illness, but they're very upset about what happened. Um, but the calls significant to individuals with a, with a mental illness are different. They, they have to have an approach that sometimes is just safer for all parties involved. And so they have to take the time to understand where this person's coming from, especially because of their illness, to understand how to help them. And so taking that time and that effort and watching their body language, listening to them speak, hearing what they have to say, watching their emotions, can really help the officer figure out what's the best course of action for them. That not always equates to going to the hospital or going to jail, but maybe getting someone to come to them and help that individual on site. 55% of the calls that the police officers respond to as a result of the training are able to be resolved on the scene. The crisis intervention training has been very valuable for our staff because it inherently reinforces our core value of treating individuals humanely and compassionately and we really focus on interpersonal communications for everyone. The CIT training helps us identify another group of people and what they might be going through and how to deal with people that have a mental illness and give us another tool on top of what we're already doing.